Thank you, Glenn. And I'm joined today with one of my co-founders, Evan Blair. So he'll be doing the demo a little bit later. So I'm here to talk to you today about ZeroFox. ZeroFox Enterprise, with nearly a dozen patents, as said, is protecting your company, your people, your organization, but your customers and your infrastructure from the threats that are in social media. So when I talk about social media, and that being the new battleground for cybersecurity, 2015 has already shown us the impact. CENTCOM is now showing ISIS images. What has happened here? And you really look at the breadth of that attack. What could they have done? They stole a tank and just decided to pull it over and spray paint it. But they had a mechanism to deliver a large-scale attack at large people and large bases and get that information out. And it's not just nation states or criminal elements or the hacktivist. It can be a disgruntled employee that's out there exposing information to a large scale. And as cable providers, you have a unique challenge. You're not just worried about your employees, your people, your executives, and your brand, but you have networks that you're providing for all your customers and all your customers' information. And if this is spread out, much larger problem than just a regular Home Depot that may be just concerned about a small level. And when we look at traditional cybersecurity, it is the let's put it in a box. Let's watch the data coming in, the data leaving. That's all we have visibility, that's what we can protect. Much like a warden at a prison, he can build the highest walls, but what's the weakest link? The people. And much like social media, the people are out there communicating nonstop. Don't need to dig into the numbers too much, but if we look at Facebook alone, that would be the third most populous nation if it was a nation state, with the number of people talking and communicating out there. What does that mean to us? How much traffic's going there? 74% of the world's population is active on social media. Almost 40% of them are communicating with people they don't know by choice. When you consider the millennials, this next generation of people out there on the internet, they don't use email anymore. They may or may not even have an email address. They've got five, six, seven, eight different social media accounts, and that's how they're communicating. So what are the risks? The whole gambit. We can walk through a couple easy use cases. Your CEO is out there on social media tweeting about the latest financials or a possible merger. And this is getting viral. People are retweeting it, putting it out there. But it wasn't actually your CEO. It was an imposter on Twitter who had more followers, a better picture, and connected to more people than the real CEO actual use case. Another one, major broadcast network, getting ready to do a multi-nation sports event. They were using ZeroFox Enterprise, and we were able to recognize for them over 500 different attacks that were out there trying to take them off the air. And these attacks weren't guys sneaking in with USB drives, they were being delivered via social media. So I want to dig into some of the use cases over here on the live demo with Evan. So we're going to go ahead and pull up ZeroFox Enterprise Platform. It's cloud-based. Very easy to get into, log into, no agents going down. And as you're, again, trying to look at different ways to use social media, my TV connects. People want to be able to tweet what they're watching or comment on it live. So you're being asked as cable providers to build in this technology. You can't have agents for everything. So we're out there on the cloud looking outside in at these threats. And let's go through a simple use case here on the platform. Let's say we're looking and we provide support via social media. So let's go ahead over and we can go ahead and add assets. So whether I'm adding my brand, my company, possibly my hashtags, hey, I wanna see what, how this will trend or who's out there retweeting this. Are they doing it with bad intentions? Are they including bad stuff? So we can go in here, we can add a person, we can add a brand. We have the ability to unauthenticate. Hey, here's our real accounts that we want to watch, or we can authenticate. If there's any of those direct messages or things that the public doesn't see, we can go ahead and watch that as well. So let's say we're not exactly sure what may be out there. Um, in this use case, let's just say we do support via social media, and we allow that people can connect to our help desk or get information about their accounts via there. 
we can just type in here and see what's out there right now. So in this use case, we're looking at Comcast support. We're providing support out there. Are these my real support technicians? Are they out there getting customer information, having them talk there? They may look just like the others. You can just look here on Twitter. This one, not spelled correctly, out there looking like a support account. Does this pose a threat to you, your customers? And let's say they go a step further. Your customer's talking to this support desk, and they're like, here's a new item for you to download that's gonna speed up your internet, help me troubleshoot. They grab that executable. What we're gonna be able to do for you in real time is when they post that link, we're gonna scan it, and we're gonna immediately alert you that there's a piece of malware being delivered. Now, that's great for that customer, but what if that's already spread throughout your network? We're gonna give you that data as well. So you can now look with your traditional security, your SIM tools, your network monitoring tools, information about that actual piece of malware. Our customer's already clicking on it. Is this now clogging my broadband networks? What's going on and how can I respond to that? Do we wanna start blocking it, doing any of that? So all those integrations, again, from the security perspective, baked right in. And one of the joys of this being a cloud-based platform, it's quick and easy to set up. It's not a bunch of analysts sitting in a back room filling this in. You get the keys of the car. You can add things that are important to you to begin monitoring, scanning, alerting, and taking real-time action. And when we see these things, we've built very tight relationships with all these social media companies, whether it's Twitter, LinkedIn, or a lot of the dark places that you don't necessarily know about, to go ahead and say, I want this removed. This isn't really Bill Gates' profile. I want this off immediately take action. Say you wanna see what they're up to. You can flag it, give it to your network team. Let them pass through and see additional information about it. You get all that flexibility. You can take these alerts, you can see this data, and you can go back and say, we're covered, we see these things, and it's stuff I didn't have visibility of yesterday, but it's out there, large scale, and we can deal with it. So, thank you, Evan, for the demo, and appreciate the time, thank you.